Cuban President Fidel Castro is accusing the Bush administration of a double standard when it comes to terrorism. Earlier this month, the U.S. released a man named Luis Posada Carrillas from prison. He is a Cuban militant, an ex-CIA agent, and many say a terrorist. ABC's Bob Woodruff is in the Cuban capital of Havana tonight. Dan, good evening from Havana. The release of Luis Posada has rapidly escalated into an international incident. The outrage is particularly notable in Cuba, and for some families here, it is intensely personal. Along Havana's Calle Libertad, Liberty Street, the Rojas family has been waiting more than 30 years for justice. Camillo and Margarita's father, Jesus, was one of 73 civilians killed in the 1976 bombing of Cubana Airlines Flight 455 off the coast of Barbados. Now seeing the alleged mastermind, Luis Posada, out of jail in Miami, only magnifies the pain. I feel a lot of indignation, Margarita says, not for the American people, but for the American government. In Havana today, Posada is without doubt public enemy number one, and the United States is being accused of a double standard in the war on terror. You cannot have good terrorists, bad terrorists, good uh, uh, killings, bad killings. Posada fled revolution and has since been accused in a number of violent attempts to destabilize the Cuban regime, including a string of bombings at Cuban hotels that killed an Italian tourist and an alleged plot to assassinate Fidel Castro. He is not a terrorist. Posada's Miami lawyer says his client is an innocent pawn in Castro's propaganda war against America. And, uh, of course, we know that, that he has consistently blamed the United States for everything that goes wrong in Cuba. But Posada worked for the CIA beginning in the 1960s. An analyst at an independent research institute uncovered a long paper trail in CIA and FBI archives implicating Posada in the attack on the Cuban plane. In the rogues gallery of international terrorists, he ranks pretty near the top. Yet he has not been charged as a terrorist in the United States. He will be tried in the United States for immigration. It's like saying, well, you know, Pakistan had found Osama bin Laden without a visa. And he's been accused and been uh, sent to jail on immigration violations. Support for Posada is diminishing among Cuban exiles, though some argue the repressive Castro regime has no business pointing fingers. They're not in any position to call the United States uh, a terrorist state. The Bush administration would not comment on Posada's alleged terrorist connections, but says the immigration charges are very serious violations and he will be brought to trial. And Dan, that trial is scheduled to begin in federal court in Texas in two weeks, and the Posada case will be front and center at Cuba's May Day Parade here in Havana on Tuesday. Dan?